Hey, what's happening, everybody? Jerma here with the Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, I'm gonna be playing as the soldier with the black box. But who cares? Because there's something way more important to discuss and talk about. And that's the fact that over the last couple of days, we have heard some news trickle down from the competitive community that TF2, eventually here, is gonna be getting a matchmaking system put into the game. And my reaction to this is, I'm sure a lot of your reactions are to the same exact news, it's about damn time. It's taken Valve, what, like eight years or something to figure out that there is a whole community around competitive that want this, that have wanted this for a long time. And even the people like me that aren't into competitive really at all are excited for this update as well because it allows everybody to play the game that they want to play. Because as it stands right now, Team Fortress 2 has a lot of servers, right? Some of them are geared towards more serious, some of them are Valve servers. A lot of the Valve servers that people play on are just extremely reliable, and they're always there, and it's just easy to fall into a Valve server. It just is. But whatever server you happen to play on, 90% of your Team Fortress 2 in-game time will be on an open public game server. And TF2 is an incredibly unique game where in any of these given places, in any of these given servers, there's like four or five different types of people playing the game. Maybe you got like two pyros that just installed the game 10 minutes ago. They don't have any hats, they're walking around spraying shit, and they're having a blast. They might even be at the wrong point. They might be going backwards to the other point that's already been capped. On the same team, there's a scout that has a hail zone scatter gun. He's on his 18th kill of a 17 kill streak. He just got 18. He's going, oh, I just got 18. Sick. He runs up the stairs. He's trying his ass off. He's getting a d -d 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 dodging like, oh, the sentry almost got me. He looks to his left when he gets up the stairs on Gorge. And there's two sandwich heavies having a fucking picnic. So he stops for a second. He goes, two. Ah! And he walks forward and gets blown up out of the next door by a soldier's rocket. And he rages in the chat. Or he sits and sulks in his chair and goes, what the fuck is going on? The two sandwich heavies then decide it's time to move their picnic. And there's ants. There's ants here, honey. I want to get out of here. So they get up, they, they pack up their sandwiches, they pack up their lunches and their breakfast and whatever the fuck they're eating. They get up and they walk out the door to go towards red because they think that, that, that spot near like the A point for red is pretty good. They walk out the door and they see four level three sentry guns pointing at them. They get shot a million times and blow up. There's like nine engineers running around swinging their wrenches in random directions. And then they get mad and they just say, we're just trying to have a fucking picnic here. What the hell's going on? The Blue Scout at this point respawns, and he walks by the at least three or four statues, because we all know there's at least four people AFK in spawn when you play this game. You go by the museum of people standing still. So he walks out the door and he readies his weapon. He's ready. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get another 20 kill streak. Just you watch, Gavin. I would have praised Gavin. And he goes forward, he runs, and he starts shooting, and he gets backstabbed by a spy that's been sitting with a cloak and dagger in the corner for at least the last 68 seconds. So there's like four separate video games being played in the same server at the same time there. And I've been all those people. I have been every single person I listed there and I talked about, I've been them. I've wanted to play and try really hard and get a good score. I've been the dipshit throwing sandwiches around or like being a spy and like cloak and daggering and just messing around. We've all done weird shit like that. We all think this game is amazing. That's why there's so many ways to play it. And there's so many different people that play that the variety there makes it so you could be in the same place and be wanting to do completely different things than somebody else that's on the other team or even on your own team. So having a matchmaking system will split up these entities. The new players can play in a random server and not have to worry about some guy that has 10,000 hours in the game killing him every two seconds. The people that want to throw sandwiches at each other can throw sandwiches at each other. They won't queue up for the matchmaking to play sandwich heavy. It's just going to be good for everybody. Especially if the process to join a queue for matchmaking is as painless as possible. It could be a button you press, and it'll put you in a queue. And if it doesn't take, like, more than 5 to 10 minutes to get in a game, so many more people will be inclined to use it. And competitive can grow. And wanting to be good at TF2 will grow a little bit. It would be crazy to see that, because it's been, like, almost 10 years for a community like this. It just blows my mind every day, guys. It seriously does. That TF2 is like, people are still this dedicated, and they still... This would be a fucking one for the history books. If ten years later, TF2 will have a resurgence in competitive. Like, ten fucking years later. It would just be cool to see it happen. 
as long as the system in place was any good. Which is the last thing we're going to talk about here in this video. Will it be good? Uh, not necessarily will it be good. I hope it's good. Because there is a huge potential here for this to go in one of two different ways. And the first way is Man vs. Machine 2.0. You just get into gigantic dump queue and maybe you're going to get into a Man vs. Machine game with a bunch of random people. I don't want that. I really don't want that. If that's what it is, at least it's a step in the right direction. But I really hope it's a realized thing with a ranking system, actual stats you can see, potentially leaderboards, top players, separate queues for Highlander, 6v6, 1v1, ulti duo. Imagine the possibilities and imagine the shot in the arm this could give this game if it's done right. And if it isn't done right, if it is done in this sort of gigantic man versus machine dump queue, then I'm just not so sure I'm going to care that much about it. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to wait and see. I know as much as you guys do at this point. And over the next couple of days, over the next couple of weeks, I'm sure we'll hear a lot more about it. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm a pessimistic excited. Because I don't want to uh, get my hopes up for this. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We'll see what happens. Take care, everybody. And goodbye.